They are live in outer space riding on a giant asteroid at Sunny Alpha Stadium, home of the Galaxy Chaos. Oh, that would explain the text I just got from Event Horizon Wireless. Informing me I got five grand in movie charges. Uh, I wonder how much that text just cost me. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The New York Tyrants go up against the Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lost in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Second down and six. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First 
four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. Lohan's nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and five. There, maybe a yard. Third down and three. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Threads the needle for a first down. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. First down to seven. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. And they pick up 
nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Bring up third and one. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Finn? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. 
The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first. The quarterback burns his last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sick. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Satan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food. You'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. Greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. Oh, that was a big hit. And Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. It's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes.
mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. <laughs> He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. down and six. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second down and six. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. First down and six. And that was a bone 
crusher right there, folks. Second down and five. Receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and five. mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself i'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he punched his way out of that tackle. Man, oh, man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And catch for a new game. Then how is it a pass? And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. Defense holds them to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Second down in a lot. And the quarterback throws another pick. Boom! <laughs> and the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez! the ball on that one. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Third down and long. 
And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Lynn, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Now yeah, they're all in politics, apparently. If they don't pick it up and they can't get the play called in time, the quarterback is forced to take a timeout. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. And the defense was caught with their pants around their ankles. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, save it. Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and four. Perfect pass and a score! Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. It certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dub. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. First down and six. <laughs> that pass play was good for three yards. A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. And that'll be second down and four. Don't you just love the sound of bones stamping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Third down and five. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Hey, okay, go back to him. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Graham, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times do we have to explain it to you? It saves the clock, dumbass. souls for this to matter. Lucky for them, I know a guy. That play had no chance. This baby is over and the fat lady is singing. Yeah, speaking of fat, once I decide to burn some calories, so I set a fat kid on fire. Hey, I wonder if a fat drug dealer sells Diet Coke. Oh, nice hit. if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't. The Galaxy Chaos have won the game. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it scrambled tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.